body mechanics. Back injury is one of the greatest risks that healthcare workers face. By following the correct principles of body mechanics, you can greatly reduce the risk of injuring yourself on the job. The first thing you need to remember is that we're healthcare workers, not superheroes, and we can't be expected to lift 300 pound patients on our own. You have to advocate for yourself and find someone that can help to lighten the load. With the principles of body mechanics, you wanna always have or maintain a broad base of support. What that means is that your feet need to be about shoulder width apart. Okay, you don't want to have your feet together and then bend over trying to pick something up because what that does is it throws off your center of gravity. By having your feet shoulder width apart and maintaining that broad base of support, you're more stable and less likely to get injured. So broad base of support, the next thing you need to do is to bend with your knees and use those strong leg muscles that you have when you're bending down and lifting up. Okay, so you should never bend with your waist. A lot of people, especially women, try to bend at the waist and this puts a large amount of strain on your back and greatly increases the risk of injury. So when you're bending down, you've got your feet shoulder width apart, you're bending with the knees, you're gonna try to keep your back straight and also remember to tighten up those abdominal muscles. That's gonna help kind of give you that extra oomph when you're lifting up. So you're going down, similar to a squat that you would do if you were working out. You're gonna get that box or whatever it is that you're lifting. You're gonna keep it close to your body so you don't wanna have it out here. Keep it close to your body and then lift up using those strong leg muscles. Now if I needed to turn and set this box on the table or give it to someone else, it's important that you don't twist. So this is twisting. Twisting is bad. What you want to do is actually turn your body, which is called a pivot, and your feet should be pointing in the direction of where you're going. So this is a pivot here. I'm going to turn, and then if I wanted to set it on the table, I'm going to take that step and put it out onto the table. So just to review, feet shoulder width apart, which is a broad base of support, bending with the knees, keeping that back straight, your abdominals tight, keeping whatever it is that you're lifting close to your body. Um, if you're working with a patient that's in the bed, remember to, with principles of body mechanics, you can raise that bed up so that you're not having to do all that extra bending down or, or reaching up while you're working with them. So there are a lot of things that you can do to help minimize your risk of getting hurt. The last thing here is that you always want to push rather than pull something. So I'll show you with the wheelchair here. If you're pushing a patient in the wheelchair, you always want to push forward. That way you're kind of leaning in to what you're pushing. Never pull backwards. Also keep two hands on whatever it is that you're pushing as you're going along. And that's it.